What's up everyone, Soldier First Class here, and today's mission, we're going to be taking on the hard mode side quest, Flowers from the Hill. Now you might be wondering why you'd need a guide for a random side quest, but Flowers from the Hill gives you one of your manuscripts you'll need to fully level up all of your character folios. Unfortunately, due to the Mandrake enemy's attack patterns, this fight is almost impossible if you don't go in with the right setup and strategy. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're excited for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth guides and content. To get started, you'll receive this quest from Chloe at Bill's Chocobo Ranch. She asks if you can retrieve some flowers from a field, but on hard mode the field is filled with Mandrake. Their projectile attacks will decimate your party in no time, and their gap closing attack can finish you off in one hit, so we'll need a few key strategies to complete it. First off, let's start with party composition and materia setups. I went with Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith because I wanted one distracting melee fighter, and then I wanted to use Aerith's Arcane Ward to fire off two spells in a row with Cloud. There's a few key materia here that make this even remotely possible, and it begins with the Magnify and Fire materia. Fire is best because Mandrake is weak to both Ice and Fire, but there's a delay when casting Ice Magic, and we need those attacks to be really quick. There's also a large amount of enemies here, so fire really gives a large blast radius and does a lot of damage. We also need some purple materia for this, as we'll need ATB bars constantly refilling to make this work. You'll want first strike and ATB stagger materia, and then combine that with the yellow materia ATB boost, and you'll be refilling your ATB bars like crazy. I recommend using this setup for Cloud, as he'll be doing the most damage here and can take advantage of Aerith's Arcane Ward to cast two spells back to back. You can also give him some steadfast block and precision defense focus as well for extra ATB build if you need to go on the defensive at any point. You'll want to give Aerith the first strike materia as well so she can be quickly placing the arcane ward at the beginning of battle. If you haven't neglected your swift cast materia, now might be a good time to equip it to cloud with another fire materia. When you double equip fire materias with blue materia, you get the benefit of both blue materia at the same time. So in this example, not only are you getting the benefit of swift cast, but now those quicker casting spells are hitting multiple targets. Combine that with arcane ward and I think you see where this is going. And as a quick tip, you can do this for as many linked slots as your weapons and armor can hold, so one fire spell can give you the benefits of about 4 to 8 blue materia bonuses. Something you might want to remember for your future hard mode run. Don't forget about synergy materia either. I combine this with comet materia on Tifa and it's perfect for crowd control. When attacking enemies, synergy will activate and Tifa will cast a comet spell throughout combat encounters for no MP cost. And for this quest, you definitely need crowd control. You don't necessarily have to go through with all of this setup, but I can't stress enough just how difficult this actually is. Now that we've got our materia set up, let's talk about the strategy. There's a rock at the edge of the battlefield that will act as your base of operations. Get to know the rock, love the rock, smell what the rock is cooking. Once you're back there, pull up Aerith's Arcane Ward to allow double casting of spells and place it on Cloud. Next, switch back to Cloud and you'll want to pop your ATB boost to fill up two ATB bars and immediately begin casting Fyraga. Pull this timing off right and not only will you have killed a large amount of Mandrake, you'll also refill both of your bars upon Stagger. With those reloaded, fire off another Fyraga spell. That's four spells in a matter of seconds. Hopefully that'll have finished them off, but if not, you should have new ATB bars every time you do this, so fire off more spells and finish the job. Keep in mind Fyraga does take some time to cast here, so if you feel safer going with Fyra, that also works, but may not do as much damage as you need it to. With Swift Cast equipped though, you may not have to worry about cast times at all. Even with this method, this quest can be a real bastard, so don't feel bad if you fail this combat segment several times. Even with my method, I still fail a lot when retrying it, and this is the only legit method I've found that works for me. It may take you a few tries, but you should have all the tools you need at your disposal, and hopefully this guide helps set you up for success. Thanks for watching guys, and don't forget to omni slash that like button. Let me know in the comments section below if this guide helped you and if there's any quests you'd like help with in future guides. If you're excited for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth guides and content, subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications to all. I'm Soldier First Class, and I'm on to the next mission. Later guys.